No battery, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Cheers. Up in the air, soon trotting down in Bangkok. The vibrant, the bustling city of Bangkok will drive man mad. Mad for anything exotic. It's a phenomenon known as Beyond Borders. You arrive at a place that is vastly different from yours. But it feels familiar. It's believed traveling is the pillar of great epiphany. In the city of Bangkok, there are BTS. Traffic, more traffic, angry gorilla. You walk the back alley, the streets, you see phenomenal stuff. The local markets and Thai people are extremely hard working. Bangkok to me, it's not a new place to me. It's like my hop. A place where I come to regroup and enjoy the amazing street food. The city of Bangkok, I've seen the likes of me on numerous occasions. And this is the city I've been to more than any city in the world. 11 times to be precise. Why, you ask? Well, let me tell you, because it's big, I mean, humongous, it's blustery, known for its rich culture, you know, vibrant things like, you know, street food. 150 baht has gone up before it was 110. Surely this place is cashing in. Ipsy Mai Pad Thai, arguably for me, it's one of my favorites in Bangkok. And this place is notoriously famous for its, you know, delicious Pad Thai. Trust me, you want to come here early, because the queue and the line for this band boy can be long. Zero. This one here? Thank you. Thank you. Due to the pandemic and I suppose social distancing, dining inside is a no no. Zigzag crossing. Okay, I'm not going to wait. It's mad. Absolutely bonkers. They're going to go through. That's right. There we go. Welcome to Thailand. They're in there, so basically they're looking at me when I'm vlogging, it's mad. Nightlife here is something else, one of a kind. And if you're young, say you're a backpacker, you're coming from the west, you want to party, you want to meet more people, then Coastal Row is the place for you. Life in the concrete jungle of Bangkok is always fast. Population approximately 10.8 million people. No matter how fast things are changing in Bangkok, something remains the same. Mango sticky rice, Mango one of my favorites. Rice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at that. Basically, this simple kit in the Highlands will cost you 100 baht. We're here in Koh Sun Road and it's in a very touristy place as well, but it's only 50 baht. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Walk the street in Bangkok, you're bombarded in every town, and then you may question, 
did the pandemic really happen? Because life, as I know, is slowly easing back to normality. And this side is a glimpse of Chinatown passing through. Bangkok is no stranger to foreigners. Millions to be precise, particularly Western foreigners from the UK, America, Canada, India, Pakistan, you name it. I mean, everywhere. People come here, flock into the city, seeking for God knows who. You know, here's a place for everyone. As you see, life is back to normality. And in the afternoon, if you find yourself in some random street, then enjoy the street food and try it. Trust me, you'll be hooked for life. I'm telling the auntie to put a bit of chopped chili, yes, please. More chili and MSG, I suppose. Soy sauce and what else? Some bad boys, like them ones. You got shrimp there, you got chicken, more chicken there. And this one's the pork, basically. This is lovely. Of course, lime, yes, please. Bangkok in recent years is the number one destination in the world and it's an expat dreamland. Trust me, if you really want to invest in real estate, then this is the place. And it's full of so many things to see and do, particularly street food. And if you're lucky to stumble into auntie like this, then you're in the right place. Because for all I know, she is the master of instant noodles. Calls and soy sauce, lime. Uh, yeah, that's right. New translator. See ya. <laughs> In there. Wacky. Mix it. And what next? Chicken. Chicken. Yes. Yes, please. Freshly made and it's good. Oh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Ladies always smiling and friendly. People here are just lay back and chill. Hence why I love life in Asia. Doing videos about Thailand doesn't bring views and money, but brings satisfaction and pride. This guy grilling that fish, cover in salt, more fish here being fried. I think I know where I'm gonna stop. Oh, look at that. Instant noodles, fresh, exceptional. On to the next one, oh yeah. So soft, mate. Oh my God. Look at that, green stuff in there, sweet, coconutty, delicious. And in the sky flying heat, I mean extremely heat and humid, fine and highly way that offers anything fresh coconut. Yeah, grab it. The motel is just down there, one minute walk. All right, taxi, you can get your scam easily. Local street food, yes please, never getting scammed for 30 baht. <laughs> Heading to the King Palm Anakin, the tallest structure in Bangkok. But first, a bottle of water, stay hydrated. So I got my ticket. And it cost me 21 pound to go up, but I'm not going now. I'll be back, taking a BTS to Icon Siam. All right, taking a ferry. So far, they didn't ask me for no money. Maybe I'll pay on board. I don't know. I don't know if this is how it operate. My days, look at this place. Moving around Bangkok can be, you know, seemingly smooth and then again, you know, seemingly slow. Yeah, because traffic in Bangkok is by far one of the worst. Taking, you know, the long tail boat or ferry crossing over to the other side, it's no brainer. Because there are no traffic, my friend. As I continue to move and crossing borders and the places I visit shape my previous life, define who I am, hope a new possibility. Bangkok is such a vibrant place, you either love it or hate it. There are plenty of shopping malls scattered around in Bangkok. And I've came to the most luxurious shopping mall in town, the Icon Siam. I opened its door in 2018 and it's by far one of the largest shopping malls in Southeast Asia. 
covering a staggering area of 750,000 square meters. Yeah, it's a large space. Whatever you're looking for, you can find it here. Whether it be a wide range of luxury, high-end brands and retailers. Yeah. Interesting. Must be a coffee pub. A coffee shop, right? Western brands and chain. Wow, this place is stupendous, fabulously made, well designed, marvellous. For coffee drinkers, they're Starbucks. And this is by far the most outstanding Starbucks I've been to yet. Maybe I can change your mind to like more. The mall offers a lot and you'll be tempted to buy things. You can step outside for a fresh air on a good day or step back inside if you feel extremely hot and get that cool, you know, aircon. Honestly, this is by far the best mall I've ever been. It's too huge, too massive, too vast. I can never see it all in 24 hours in one day. But come here and see it yourself. It's full of so many things. Cinemas, did I mention that? And yeah, museum and some cool stuff heading downstairs for street food. You know? Let's see. I think I'm missing something out in this place. There's something magical about this place. Street food, right? How much? Here, one. Thank you. It's outrageously gorgeous. Whoever thought about this idea, including the street food market underneath the mall, you're a genius. For these beautiful people here, it's special. I know I might be so weird recording people as they eat it. I apologize, please don't sue me, all right? The food here is as authentic and good, just like the ones you will find on the streets outside in Bangkok. Some Muslim section food, everything I suppose is halal. Oh, wonderful, right? Of course, I got that and, and I got this. My time here in this mall is up, but I'm leaving with an impression one day I'll be back to this place. You want to see some spectacular views when the light all lit up at night? Then come in the evening is the perfect time to visit a rooftop and see Bangkok at the top at its finest. And back again at the King Pa Manikin, heading to the rooftop, an outstanding skyscraper. Standing at a staggering height of 340 meters, 1000 feet. Designed by some German architect, yeah, it's by far the tallest building in Thailand. Surely the architecture is bonkers, but the design is unique. The facade on the outside is square shaped. Some people will like it, some will despair. But surely it's arguably notable on the far distance. Head into the 78th floor observation deck for some panoramic view of the city. Different nationality in the lift, different language spoken. But we are all here for one thing, the spectacular, only the spectacular ride. This is amazing, this is awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. How 
how brave are you? Do you fancy walking on a glass platform over the head of a building? For me, no please. Well, this place offer just that. Coming to a closure, my time in Asia, the likes of Thailand, the likes of Indonesia, the likes of Vietnam has ruined me for life and surely I'll be back for more. For now, heading back to my hometown, London. 12 hours in Bangkok, here you go. And this is the perfect place to end your adventure. Say you want to see the city for one day, come here. And the view is just as heavenly as ever. If you manage to see this episode and you enjoy the effort and time, then subscribe to the good stuff.